Another cyclone, another flood, another disaster aggravated by climate change adds up to another challenge for world food security. Bangladesh is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world due to its location on the Bay of Bengal. Since 1971, nearly 200 major natural disasters have severely ravaged the country. In November 2007, Cyclone Siddur struck, killing more than 3,000 people. Around 1.4 million metric tons of food grain were lost when severe flooding wiped out an entire growing season. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization is helping people rebuild their lives with the emergency distribution of seeds and fertilizer. It is either extremely hot in summer or extremely cold here in winter. The cutting of trees and mangroves as well as the new construction could be the reason for the changes in the weather. Many plants and trees have been used for fuel. The Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest, is situated on the Bay of Bengal. These salt-tolerant mangroves are fighting climate change on the front line acting as a natural windbreak for cyclones and a barrier between sea and fresh water. 20% of this area was destroyed by Cyclone Siddur. With 147 million people, Bangladesh is one of the most densely populated countries. As sea levels rise and land is lost, producing enough food for the population is becoming harder. While northeast Bangladesh experienced its heaviest rainfall ever in 2007, the northwest suffered an unprecedented drought when monsoon rains failed. Although this region is normally prone to drought, it is occurring with much greater frequency and for longer periods. In an effort to curb the resulting food shortages, FAO is raising farmers' productivity through improved farming systems and new technologies. I take more care and interest in what I am growing as I make more money. Now I have better access to irrigation because of the deep tube wells. Improved gardens and the introduction of new types of drought-resistant seeds ensure a year-round income, more balanced diets and equal opportunities for men and women. Another successful FAO initiative is the climate field school in the village of Shilpur Siala. Farmers meet regularly to learn about how to adapt to climate change. The whole village is better off as we now know which crops to grow at which time of year. We are getting new information about what crops are suitable for a change of climate. By growing diverse crops like mango and jujube, farmers no longer rely solely on rice. Levels of income and their food security are increased. Another FAO initiative is an energy-efficient stove which saves fuel consumption by 30 to 40 percent. This reduces the amount of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere. There is no smoke, so it is better for my health and for the environment. It uses less cow dung, which I can use as a fertilizer, and therefore it saves me money. In Bangladesh, and around the world, the consequences of climate change cannot be ignored. The problem is global, but to those suffering from hunger, its impact is personal. <laughs>